Hello all. In our previous video, we have made this simple layout and also I have given this assignment to bring this paragraph on right side. Okay, I hope some of you have tried. Now in this, we are going to see about CSS borders. Okay, now from here, I'm just going to remove entire content. I'll just clean this entire thing and we are going to learn about CSS borders. I have just cleaned entire thing. I don't have anything now. Now we are going to understand what are CSS borders, why we have to use borders and what are the values inside borders. Okay, now here I'm just going to create one div. I'll save this. Now if I just show you the output, I won't be having anything here, okay, because I don't have any content. I'm just going to target the div. Now for this first, I'm just going to give the border. Border. Now instead of giving this border, let me just write here border width. I'll just write here border width. Border width should be 5 pixel. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see there is nothing here, okay, nothing is being displayed because I don't have any content. Now for that, let me just write here height, height I'll just give 100 pixel and also width I'm just going to give 100 pixel. I'll save this, I'll refresh this one again after giving height and width then also this border is not getting displayed because we have just given the width, we have not given any color yet. So here I'm just going to give border color, you can see we are having multiple properties, I'm just going to give border color. Let us check for the output. I'll refresh this. Now you can see again I don't have any border here. Okay, let me just add some content. Now here I'm just going to write paragraph. I'll just write here lorem 100. Okay, instead of lorem 100, let me just write here lorem 10. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see for I'm having this paragraph, but whatever border I have given that is not been displayed. Because I have not given the style of the border, I have given the width, I have given the color, but I have not displayed, I have not given the style. I have not told this border what style it should be displayed. So for that, I just have to write here border style and let me just write here solid. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this border. As I'm having 100 pixel of height and 100 pixel of width, this paragraph, okay, here I'm having larger content. So it is coming outside of this one. Now if I just increase the height and increase the width, let me just write here 200 and here also I'll write 200. Now this content will be coming inside that and here I will be having this output. Okay, this is how we are going to give border. Now instead of this solid, we are having multiple values. We are having like dotted. Okay, this we have to give border style only then this is going to work or else it will not work. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'll be having dotted borders. Now again, I'm just going to create another div. I'll just create another div here. I'll just copy the same thing and here I'm just going to paste. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see this is the second div and for this I'm having this output. Now here I'm just going to place one image. Now inside this let me just pass this path. I'll just write here images path. Inside this image I'm having BG. I'll just write here BG JPEG. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having this image. Now for this image, I'm just going to give some border. I'll just write here image. Now for this, let me just copy this entire thing. And here I'm just going to paste. Now instead of this green color, uh, let me write here pink, dark pink. I'll just increase this one. I'll just give, uh, let me just write here dark purple. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see for image, I'm having this border. Now instead of dotted, I can just write here solid. I'll save this one. I'll refresh this. Now for image, I'm having this borders. Okay, this is how borders are important. And when we are studying about box model, border is also a part of box model. And we are going to see about box model. Then you will understand why we have to use borders and what is the use of borders. Okay, what are the values and how these values are getting affected. Everything we are going to see in box model. Okay, this is how we are going to give. Now, instead of writing all these things, we are having a shorthand for this as well. Now, instead of writing border style, we can just write here border. Now, first, I'm just going to give border style. Then border with, let me just write here 10 pixel. Border color red. I'll save this. I'll just remove this entire thing. I'll refresh this one. Now, you can see for diff container, I'm having this border. Now, this borders, okay, these two borders are getting overlapped because we are not having any margin. You don't have to worry about margin and I am not going to teach what are margin now. In our next tutorial, we are going to see what are padding, what are margin. But this is how we are going to display. Now, let me just remove this. I'll just remove this uh, diff container. I'll refresh this one. You can see for this diff container, I'm having this red color as the background. Okay, now if I just want, we are having multiple values for this one. Now, okay, let me just uncomment this one. 
I'll refresh this. Now you can see to whatever value I'm having here that is being displayed. Now if I just write this on top, I'll refresh this one. Now you can see whatever value I'm having here below this one that is being displayed. Whatever we are writing on top, which is having the same value that will be overridden whatever values we are having below. Okay, this is how we are going to get the output. Okay, now for this we are having multiple values like we are having dashed. I'll save this. Okay, these are dashed. All the values you don't have to remember. Just inspect this. And here also you are going to get the values. Whatever values you want, we can just get that one here. Let me just uh, show you. Border style. Okay, you can see all the values like ridge, outset, none, unset. Okay, all the values we are having here. If I just write here double. I'll save this. Okay, let me just close this one. I'll refresh this. Now you can see here I'll be having double border. Okay, double lines I am having. Now for image also, let me just write here. I'll just remove this. Now for this, I'm just going to write here unset. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, the border has gone. Let me just give another value here. Okay, let me just write here ridge. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, now ridge is nothing but inside. Okay, for frames, how we will be having the borders like that, it is going to display. Now it's not visible, but when you okay, you can see like this, it will be displayed like frames, it is going to display. Okay, we are having multiple values for border style. You can just explore that one. You don't have to learn each and everything. Once you write this one, once you practice this, then you will have some values in your mind and you can use that values in your project. Okay, this is all about borders and let now here i'm having this border now to round this border we are having another property we are having border radius border radius let me just write here 50 percentage okay total is 100 percentage i'm just writing here 50 percentage now you can see here it will be giving me this oval shape okay it is not giving me circle because my image is not in the square it is rectangle so here i'm having this output now instead of this i can give the values in pixel as well i'll save this I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'll be having this output. Okay, for better, uh, let me just write here 10 pixel. I'll refresh this. Now here I'll be having this rounded borders. Okay, you can give rounded borders as well. This is how we are going to use border properties. And this border is very important. This value, whatever we are giving here, that is very important when we study about box model. So you should be aware of borders. You should know the basics of borders, why we have to use, what are the values we can give. Okay, basically we can give values in M, we can give values in REM. You don't have to worry about M and REM. We are going to see when we study about advanced CSS. Now in this complete series, we will be focusing on pixels. Later on, as it goes into advanced level, I will be completely using M's and REMs. Okay, we will not use pixels anymore. We will be using M's and REMs. Okay, this is all about border. Okay, this is the shorthand property. Inside this first, we are just going to pass the border style, then border width, then border color. Okay, if you just want, you can give like this. Now here, uh, now here, let me just... Let me just comment this one. Now for this border double, here I'm just going to write solid. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see top and bottom i am having this border double left and right i am having this solid color now this first value will indicate top and bottom and this second value will indicate right and left now here i am just going to write here dashed i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see bottom i am having dashed now first value whatever i am having here that will be top then this will be left and right and this will be bottom first it will be top then right then bottom then left so first value when whenever we are passing three values first will be top and last will be bottom and this middle value will be left and right if we pass two values only two values if we pass first will be top and bottom then second will be left and right if i just pass here three values okay it's as simple as that dash i'm passing here but let me just write here rich i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see this is the rich you should always take in clockwise direction top i am having double right i am having solid bottom dashed and this okay left side i am having this ridge okay this is how we are going to use if we pass four values then four properties will be taken if you just want okay instead of this if you just want border on bottom so for that also we are having border bottom okay we are having individual values border bottom i can just write here solid five pixel uh five pixel i just want to give a uh, green color okay instead of green let me just write here pink color I'll save this. 
I'll refresh this one. Now you can see only bottom I am having this color. Let me just increase the size. You can see only bottom I am having this pink color. Now instead of bottom, if I just write here right, I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. You can see only on right side I will be having this border. Okay, this is how we can use individual values and we can give the borders on any side. Okay, whenever you are making nav bar, then this kind of borders will be very important. If you just want to give border on right side or left side or bottom or top, you can give this individual value. Only this particular value you can give and you can get the borders. Okay, this is all about CSS borders. Next, we will be starting about box model. To get started with box model, we should be having basic understanding of what are margin, what are padding, what is outline. We have studied about border. Now, we are going to see about these three properties padding margin and outline and then we will focus on the box model okay box model is very important in css so we are going to learn box model once we learn all the properties related to box model okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you for listening have a great day